some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves at the courthouse in Clark County, Indiana with Chris from For Public Service, where he is trying to meet a prosecutor to get his trespassing warrant lifted from CPS because he claims it violates B7 of the Indiana trespassing law. Well, there are two major issues here, one being that uh, it does not violate B7 because he has not read in full what B7 actually is on the Indiana trespassing law, which we will soon find out, and he gets no service overall because of his condescending attitude problem. And he has the audacity to tell a prosecutor that he knows more about the law than that prosecutor does. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Say hi, official misconduct. Where we are at is we're going to the prosecutor's office at the world now famous courthouse in Clark County, Indiana, so we can talk to the asshole Jeremy Mull that always has an appointment set previous of making appointments for other people who request it, such as ourselves. This video is over 40 minutes long. Most of it is just him walking around talking to random people until he gets to the point of the video. Speaking of which, here we go. I'm going to take us straight to the point of this video. Many hours later. I'll wait for that lady to leave. I don't like to do this with them in there. You wait for us, but... Yeah. Yeah, it won't be long. Um, I don't want to interrupt her no, you're privacy fine. here. Um, so I need to make an appointment with the prosecutor. Which one? Jeremy Mull. And what's your name? It's Chris. 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 That's my name. He'll know who I am. Well, I need to know your name. Actually, you just <laughs> have it. You just got it. It's Chris. Chris is not exactly a unique name. You just can't walk up to somebody and say, Hey, do you know Chris? Without them asking, Which Chris are you talking about? I'm sure that lawyer must know at least a dozen Chris's that come to that office every once in a while. So you gotta be a tad more specific than that. Which is why we have to use our family, a.k.a. surnames. Or did you not know that, you blibbering moron? That really is my name. So I just need an appointment with him. I need to know your last name. And but you don't. But I do. <laughs> no, you man, don't. Don't you don't. You can just tell him Chris is here and I need an appointment with him over a legal matter. That is okay, his responsibility. Okay, you need to turn your phones off. No, yeah. thank you. I just I'm need an appointment. Just phone make phone me an appointment, ma'am. No. What's your name? I'm not giving you you want my name, but you don't want to give... No, don't... <laughs> Sir, your oath to the Constitution, please. Can you come in, please? No, he's here with me. Yeah, well, I need him to protect his oath to the Constitution for me. These are my rights. Let's see if he does it. If not, then we will handle it from that point forward. I just hope that he does it the right way. He does too young. He's doing the right thing. All right, so what's happening is the officer was asked to go back because the woman refused to give me an appointment based on me not wanting to give my last name, which they already know it. And then um, she called our escort to go back there so that they can get Tyrant on us. We should have expected it. Apparently I shut my video off. Oops. I got here. If you watch YouTube and you're interested in what's going on at Clark County's bad, we found one more. Name and number, but he's not here. Okay, my name is Chris again. He is here. That's why you went in his office. No, he's not here. I took the police officer back there. To why? Show him he's not here. But why did you? Oh, you just took the cop back there just to show him. Yes, I did. He is not up here. All right. And then my phone number is. <clears throat> and this is an urgent matter matter regarding 
the welfare of our children again. I'm glad you're writing it this time because when I wrote it last time, they tried to use it as evidence to charge me with a crime that didn't exist. Make sure you sign that at the end. And you can elaborate by saying most specifically Tiffany's children. That way he doesn't get it confused or think that this is, you know. What yeah, you can say it's regarding Tiffany's children and the Department of Child Services and the JPD violating my rights and trying to issue a trespass in which Mr. Bull was supposed to have removed from the system. So that's why I need to see him. He needs to get that removed. If he hasn't done it already, I don't know why. Well, when you post it on the screen here in a few minutes, I'll definitely show everybody why it probably hasn't been removed. Partly because you're a damn moron who can't read the law for shit. But please, continue on. But either JPD is lying, or Jeremy is a derelict. I think it's both. Remove what? The false trespass that he promised to remove. I got to get business done over there for our kids. And they keep trying to say I'm trespassed. And I'm not. Can't right. trust somebody. You can't trespass somebody under the Indiana ISC to trespass. If you look in the section subsection B7, you'll see that as long as a person is lawfully conducting their business, that they cannot be trespassed by any officer. Okay, let's take a look at his claim, shall we? As you can see, that provision in uh, Indiana trespassing law does exist. However, he is not showing us B7. And let's go find out why he is not showing it. Okay, let me pause it right here and I'll read it out. Section B7, not having a contractual interest in the property knowingly or intentionally enters or refuses to leave the property of another person having been prohibited from entering or asked to leave the property by a law enforcement officer when the property is vacant, real property as defined in section IC 36-7-365 or a vacant structure as defined in IC 36-7-36-C or designated by a municipality or county enforcement authority to be abandoned property or an abandoned structure as defined in IC 36-7-36-1. Essentially, that's saying you can't be trespassed from abandoned property, you damn moron. You think you know the law? You don't know jack squat about it. In fact, if you have read the law correctly at all, under section B1 and B2, you can be trespassed, you gibbering idiot. Unless they're breaking the law, which we don't. Okay, I'll give him the message. All right, how long should I expect? I really just want an appointment. Can you not just make an appointment no, for me? He makes his own appointments. But that's not lawful. That's Why are they making that's policies good. that are not lawful? That's not you, you realize the First was. Amendment requires him to be able to respond to grievances. He will, and he does All not. I can do is give him the message like but he I does all the others. That's but he doesn't do. respond. Right, that's all you can do. But what I'm saying is, is that he's putting you in a legal position by saying that, look, here's what it is. By law, we have the right to, to be able to redress our government. His position is government. He's prosecutor. So if I have an issue in the prosecutorial staff then I have the right to redress my issue okay. with him. And I will give him the message and tell him to call you. Well, I'm supposed to be able to do it in person. If he's here, but he's not here. You want to take me back there and show no, me? No, I'm not taking you anywhere. So I'm just supposed to depend on the word of well, a... Well, the cop back there can tell you he's not The last here. cop I talked to about this office said that this was their boss. Well, you brought the officer. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to tell you he's not back there. Okay, where's he at? Um, I, I'll go get him. Okay. Kay. What was your name? You need to tell me. How am I supposed to hold you accountable? A little longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Wow, I'm a little rough this? on that glass. This that is a cell phone. I see that, but what are you doing? Um, here for business. What's your business? My business is with the prosecutor. Who are you? I'm a prosecutor. Which one? I am one of them that work here. What's your name? 
My name's Andrew Steele. Andrew Steele? Yeah, so My name's Chris. What so you be? might be able to help me because Jeremy made a mistake about, I don't know, six months ago. And he's supposed to remove, there was a false claim made against me. Okay. In regards to the child welfare office. Okay. They tried to trespass me, but they couldn't do it because it wasn't lawful. Okay. I was not breaking any laws, just doing business for our kids. Okay. So we had the whole back and forth for two months, maybe. And he yeah. said in the email that he would remove it because he knows he couldn't put it on me. Well, I went there the other day because our kids are in. Have you had any other correspondence with Mr. Let me finish. Mull? Just let me finish. Let me ask you a couple of questions. I, no, you're going to wait. No. So here's because, what we're going to do. It's going to get, it's, look, it's a business place. And we That's are right. And I'm trying to business. conduct my business and you need to listen. If you do not let me finish, I'll ask you the questions, see if you can answer them. If you don't let me finish, I can't talk to you. Plain Same plain. here. So How are we going to communicate asking, if you think you're going to take lead over you, what I'm trying to report? Because it's going to get real short. You're going to be escorted out. Am I? Yes. How? But I'm not doing anything illegal. You're trespassing right now. You're Look at B7 and trespass, Mr. Business. Prosecutor. You Does that mean interfering with this law? You think you know the law? What is you're yes, a prosecutor, right? Okay, yes. look up look up trespass. I see. Look, look 34. It's going to be real clear. It yeah. is. Desk because is you're going to read under B7 that you removed. can't. Oh, boy. You got to love that real stupid snide condescending attitude this guy has that he thinks he knows more about the law than that prosecutor does he can't even look up the law properly i mean if you think you know more about the law than the prosecutors do why don't you become a damn lawyer why don't you go out and take the bar exam and let's see how well you do on it but what i've seen so far I don't think you'll even get your name right because you won't even give your last name. So you'd be a total failure on all fronts. A complete gibbering idiot of a loser. From the property. That would be a bad idea. And I'm asking you right now. I'm asking you right now to leave. If you've communicated with Mr. B7. In your message. He hasn't. Wait, okay. Well, I you came up and got your my, you put your nose in my business and now here you are. You're in my office. That's pal, right. Trying to do business. To Wait, your out. office. Trying to do yes. business. This is my office. Mm -hmm. I pay the taxes. I do not have these people trying to do their jobs with you standing in the window. This is their job. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Not my business is, is their if job. If you don't leave within the next five minutes, you can... Oh, Wallace boy thinks here. he's going to make me leave even though under IC... I see. Call them. Call They're them. already here, buddy. They came I with can't me. Do Under I see for trespass says B7 that you can't do that. I am just going to end the video right here. He never gets his way. He never talks to the uh, prosecutor that he wants to talk to. And all he does is stand there for the next 20 minutes complaining to the cops about how mistreated he is. So, wah, wah, wah.